Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm actually getting the tires put on the new wheels. Uh, I found a shop that has a touchless machine and it's the only one in the area. Uh, I had to drive about 30 minutes. Uh, managed to get everything in the, the little daily and everything, uh, but they're mounting them right now. So yeah, let's get to it. guys made it home and once again this is one of the reasons why i got rid of the civic for another hatchback you just if, if you're not gonna have a truck you can't beat the practicality of uh pretty much the, the what, what a hatchback can do like the potential is 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 pretty uh pretty astonishing honestly uh, i learned this from all my volkswagens and all that stuff but as you can see four four full sets of uh wheels and tires and then four sets of additional wheels all fit in this and then had a little bit of room to spare granted had to tetris it all in there but still like you know the guy was uh the guy at the shop was pretty impressed that i managed to fit all this um but i did have a specific method so uh we're gonna go ahead and bring these in and clean them up and then go ahead and ceramic coat them and then eventually we'll put them on the car all right guys got the wheels and tires uh in the house got them decontaminated with uh an alcohol water mix and uh, now we're ready for the ceramic coating process. So as far as the finish on these wheels, I think uh, ceramic coating is gonna work better on these than uh, the 57 NRs, just because these have a bit of a sheen. Um, even though it's still a matte finish, it has a bit of a like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's matte, but it, it's like a very light clear coat over. Basically the, the finish on this um, is definitely better than the 57 NRs. I, I think they, I think they anodize these um, versus whatever they do with the with the cast wheels. But um, I think ceramic coating is going to look better. Um, it's going to work better on, on this finish than uh, the 57 and ours. As far as uh, the ceramic coating, um, this is the stuff I use for the 57 and ours. I can't really say if it's good or not because I just I haven't driven the car long enough. And um, I don't even think those wheels have uh like 200 miles on them the the 57 and ours and then i i don't think i washed the car in that time so i honestly can't um give you guys an assessment however i have some left over um i got about half left so i'm gonna have to make this do uh for future uh for future reference for you guys um you want to use this stuff anyways uh quickly because after about a couple months uh this stuff starts crystallizing and uh, it kind of goes bad, at least uh, some of the other ones I've had. So uh, nothing crazy. I've shown you guys uh, in other videos how to ceramic coat. I'm sure you guys have seen it from other people in other videos. Uh, pretty easy process. So we'll get this done tonight and then let them sit overnight. So I'm on the last wheel and as I was ceramic coating, I noticed the date on these wheels and i think this is one of the last sets before they discontinued them which makes sense because obviously they're new so uh they've been sitting you know in boxes for a little over a year but just thought it was interesting the date um on there so th these must have been one of the last ones uh of this spec made because they, they didn't stop making uh this wheel as a whole just this this uh particular spec uh nine and a half plus 22. All right, guys, it's been a full day, and I believe the ceramic coating is cured. Um, I haven't noticed any changes in the color or the sheen. Um, still looks good. I really like this uh, finish, man. It just, um, there's something about these wheels. It's hard to, it's hard to pinpoint. Um, I was actually talking to, to Keenan, uh, aka Evo, and, and um, there's something about the flagship Volk wheels. The T37s, these, and the CEs, they just have this... I don't know what it is. Um, this like, like they attract your eyes with this wheel. It's such a simple design, but it just like, it, it's like perfect. Like they just nailed it. Uh, but I'm really excited to get these on the car. So let's do that. All right, I got the rears on and I gotta admit the, the longer it goes, the more excited I get. I wasn't too excited to be honest with y'all when he's first got here, uh, but now that they're Pretty much on the car 
they're starting to look even better. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower this thing. I don't think the video does it justice because of how dark it is in here, but. One pair of pants later. Yo, what up guys, welcome back. Before I give you a 360 view of the car, um, I just wanna show you uh, the camber. This is something I was really worried about just because of that five mil spacer. Um, when I ended up installing the driver's side, um, it, it poked out quite a bit, as you can tell. And uh, I was concerned that that was gonna be the issue. Um, but as it turns out, so to make a long story short, um, I had to replace one of the seals in the transfer case. And because of that, I ended up messing up the alignment that we got like six months ago. Um, and uh, as you can see on this side, this side is pretty much perfect. It pokes out just a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Um, that's no concern of mine. My concern was pretty much having that. I didn't want that. And uh, this was the first side that I ended up installing. So this ended up scaring me a little bit. I was worried that that was the way it was gonna look. So I was trying to figure out ways uh, we can pretty much shave the caliper, freaking uh, get Evo 10 caliper, so on and so forth. I was looking at different options because I, I really wanted these wheels to fit well. But I think we'll be just fine as long as we match the camber that's on this. And it's not too much, as you can tell. It looks like a degree or two, and uh, we should be good. So I'm going to take this thing over to the shop to get it aligned, and then I'll give you guys a 360 view. One pathetic soap story later. All right, so as it turns out, I was not able to get in alignment. The shop that I took it to, even though I called them yesterday twice to make an appointment all that stuff, they uh, didn't feel comfortable doing the car, even though I told them it was lowered. Uh, they claim they've done Corvettes and all these types of things, but for whatever reason, my car makes them feel uncomfortable. Uh, I'm gonna go on a quick rant. If you're a car guy and you're considering moving to Louisiana, don't do it. I, I'm not here by choice. I am in the military and I'm um, stationed here. I didn't choose to be here. Um, but ever since I've been here, about a year, any type of car related thing, the basic things, guys, paint, uh, I couldn't get anybody to do the headliner. That's why I ended up doing it myself. Alignment, tires, like you name it, I'm not able to do out here. Um, so if you're a car guy and you're considering moving to Louisiana, I highly encourage you not to. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I think I'm just going to do it on my own. So like I stated before, I do like the camber on this side. I think it's perfect. Um, so I'm just going to mirror this, as you can tell. The driver's side is way pushed this way. So I'm just gonna mirror that and uh, that should give me what I need. Um, as far as like tire uh, wear and how long the tires last, honestly, I don't drive this car that much. And uh, by the time these tires get low, I'll probably already have new ones because um, I just don't drive it enough. So I'm not too concerned. Um, the back was just aligned uh, like six months ago. I didn't touch that. So that should still be the same, uh, mainly just the front two up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. A few inches later. All right guys, adjustments made. And uh, here's the, here's this one. And this one's the, the bad one here, as you can tell, way better. I think we're good here. Um, and then up top, pretty easy uh, thing to do. I just, I personally don't like to do stuff like that when there's, uh, obviously professionals and uh, equipment out there that can you know tell you exactly how it is but it is what it is uh, like I stated before I'm not worried about tire wear so it doesn't really matter as much but I think we're good time for a 360 view all right y'all got the camber all settled and all that stuff and uh, the car is looking good this is the same place I uh, showed you guys the 57 NRs for the first time I know it looks a little bit different we had uh, tornadoes come through here a couple months ago and it kind of knocked uh the fence down so they're i guess in the middle of replacing it but anyways as far as the car uh looking good we haven't had sun in like 10 days so this is my first time actually seeing the wheels in the sun um, so we get to see it together uh, but no cinematics nothing crazy i'm just gonna go ahead and show you be mindful it is pretty bright out here but here they are let me know what you guys think in the comments was it worth the switch these things are looking so, so good. It's uh, like super race car vibes. Very simple wheel design. However, uh, it's like straight to business. And then the aggressive tires make it even better. 
So this is what I was talking about with the camber. Um, the other way it was, before I did the camber adjustments, it was poking out probably a, a good inch from the top. So a little, uh, a little hot boyish, but still uh, pretty subtle. And then here's this side. This is pretty much perfect on both ends. Very, very happy that the wheel doesn't poke out. These things look really good in the sun. I really like this finish way better than I did with the 57 and ours. Um, I think uh, not only are these are a little brighter, but the, the glossy sheen on these, I think they're perfect. And whenever they don't have the sun, they look pretty kind of menacing, honestly. I think this side looks uh, menacing. So was it worth it? A um, little bit different wheel design, um, similar. Obviously way lighter, way, way lighter. Uh, forged versus uh, cast. I learned another valuable lesson, which I already knew. Whenever I want something, instead of trying to settle, I should just go ahead and get what I want. I, I, this is a lesson I've been teaching myself over the years for many, many years over and over again. It was a little bit difficult with this one though because um, this wheel is discontinued. So uh, I didn't want to settle on the color specs or anything, but this hits all the wickets. Uh, well, the only thing I don't like is the spacer, but now all my concerns are pretty much gone because the camber um, basically solved that and uh, 245 tire. So this is looking really, really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As far as what's next for the Evo, um, got more interior stuff to do, and then uh, we'll go ahead and focus on the tune with the drive-by wire and all that stuff. Uh, but that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments, and I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy, and I'm out. Peace.